Welcome to another mobile gamer episode of geekoutdoors.com. Yo-yos. <laughs> Yo-yos, they were so much fun for all of those who played with yo-yos when they were kids, but you know what? I never thought that they could be a weapon, but the people who uh, created this game, Spinmaster, this was actually on the Neo Geo, they found a way, or Data East actually created, they found a way to make the uh, yo-yo an extremely, extremely lethal weapon. So this game is very, very simple. You, you're basically uh, one of two characters and you're there to, I guess, save your, your love interest. And um, you, your weapon is a yo-yo. Yeah, I never would have thought that that would have been a weapon. But this game is, I mean, for lack of a better word, it's just super fun. It's really fun. And the graphics are, you know, typical Neo Geo. Just excellent. Just really excellent. And as a matter of fact, this game reminds me a lot of, of uh, Metal Slug, you know, in terms of the graphics and the humor. Um, and obviously that was on a Neo Geo as well. But um, with the yo-yo element, you know, not with guns. So it's very simple. You just go around smashing these baddies with your yo-yos and you do get like power-ups. So you do have other weapons besides yo-yos. And it's very uh, fast paced as you can tell. And uh, when you're playing this with two players, it's pretty hectic as a matter of fact. And it wasn't too uh, difficult, at least in the early stages. And I'm gonna try to get a different weapon. And the enemies, even though they're not as varied, they're just basically uh, color changes, color swaps. They were really fun. Uh, I like the characters. And there you go. I got a new weapon. It's uh, Ninja Stars or Shurikens. Oh. And like I said, this wasn't overly hard. It's just a really, really fun game. I got a different weapon. And it has uh, a lot, a lot of humor. That's That's probably... You know, just like Metal Slug, it has a lot of humor, and that's probably my favorite part about this game. You know, I did, I did want to talk briefly about the Neo Geo. You know, the Neo Geo, it was known as the, basically the fighting game console, because that's pretty much all they had later. But when they first started, it was a lot of this. It had a lot of platforming. It had Magician's Lord, Ninja Combat. You know, some really, really awesome games. And at that time, there was nothing that did graphically better than the Neo Geo, even though it was also super duper expensive. And uh, this guy, he kind of reminds me of uh, Dr. Wily from Mega Man. And I don't remember if there was a sequel. I think there was a sequel to this, if I remember correctly. I think there might have been a Spin Masters 2. I'm going to go ahead and beat this doctor. I can. And as you can see, it's, it's like, it's really, uh, it's really fun. <laughs> I keep going back to that. It's probably one of the most enjoyable games that I, I played back then. And it still um, holds up really well today, uh, much like uh, Metal Slug. I keep going back to Metal Slug because that's what it reminds me of. So, uh, yeah, it looks like I'm not going to, it takes me longer to defeat this guy. And I wish I could show you a two-player. Now, I think this would be a really fun game. Um, awesome. If you played this uh, through the internet, you know, if it had net play, it would be really, really fun. So that is basically it for Spin Master, the most dangerous yo-yo uh, in the world. <laughs> it's really a fun game. I, and if I do find that there is a sequel, I will definitely make a video on that as well. So thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.